So let's come back in here to the materials center. So Evan Hodge, who I've known for years, uh, we've, we've ridden together forever. He kind of runs the material center back here. Um, come on in, guys. This is Trenton and Evan. These guys are both in charge of our <laughs> materials. But what's cool about this material, we'll have Evan come up here and talk for a second, but uh, like, if you've ever heard of the term like run of the mill, you ever heard mm -hmm. of that? So mm -hmm. run of the mill is like, okay, the mill always makes this fabric. Like yeah. that's what they always have, right? Mm -hmm. So if Nike needs or whatever company needs like something they're just gonna make a ton of, they'll mm -hmm. just get a bulk of something, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of the run of the mill. Mm -hmm. Well, for us, our strategy is a little bit different because everything we do has a, has a very technical story to it mm -hmm. and it's very purpose built. And because of that, we need purpose materials, right? Things that are suited for that exact yep, purpose. Actually. So almost everything we do is either specialty or one-off or we have to develop it or we have to work with the mill. And so that's where Evan comes in as he's on the development side of these unique fabrics that we need to accomplish a certain goal. Um, so he's got a couple of fabrics here that we've used over the years that are kind of like specialty fabrics that we either had developed or worked with somebody to develop. Um, that served like a specific purpose. So mm -hmm. is this super fabric? Okay, yeah, yeah super, fabric. super fabric. So super fabric is really cool. So on the motorcycle side of the business, um, let's imagine you, you're gonna cra you, you crash on asphalt, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna skid for a ways, yep, right? right? You've got the impact and then you're gonna skid for a ways. Yep. Well, the biggest issue with sliding is burning. Yeah. Like, and that's why a leather is pretty popular, but for most people that don't wanna wear leather and I, just a recreational yeah, environment. Right. So a textile is more comfortable. Um, so developing a textile that won't burn through and melt to your skin mm -hmm. was, you know, that was the, the idea behind the super fabric. So, so go ahead and touch it. Feel that material right there. Rub your fingernail oh, across yeah. it. So what that is, is that's a ceramic Jeez. epoxy bead. Is okay. that right? Yeah. Ceramic epoxy yeah. and they can print it. And the idea behind wow. it, like if, if you know you're gonna skid, you're gonna build heat. Yeah. Yep. So something that holds up really well to heat is ceramic, right? They make brake pads out of it. They make anything that is going to have to do with heat. So they figured out how to print these ceramic beads and then they put it on the impact zones or okay. the slide areas, yep. mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, Evan can give us a little few more details yeah, I mean, on you're, it. You're nailing it. That's, I mean, that's exactly what, what we did. And you can see the different designs and we put it in the right areas and uh, shoot, you nailed it. I mean, that's ceramic. You think brake pads, you think high heat uh, and, and the slide. So it's a little slicker. You yep. know, you, you feel the slickness, you're going to slide instead of ball up and roll. Sure. Which is when uh, we, we've you get seen injuries. more injuries yeah. when you start rolling instead of a clean slide. Yep. So Makes sense. And some of the challenging things, too, is like this stuff is hard, super hard. So how do you sew it? <laughs> right. So there's only I think there's one place in the world that'll sew it, right? Um, it's it's tricky you to try to punch a needle through ceramic yeah, sure. isn't going to happen. So yeah, it takes a really specialized factory to to be able to sew this. Some of the stuff they have to sew by hand, like they have the machine and they're turning it by hand slowly mm. to make sure that you know they're getting it between the ceramic. Yeah. Oh, and so wow. anytime you get into it, like we talked about special specialty materials, <clears throat> well that pushes the cost up because yeah, the sure. manufacturing time goes up. Mm -hmm. You know the specialty equipment goes up. If there's only one place, no, anyways, you've got maybe more skilled workers that have to build it. And so yeah. you start talking about people say, well, why, why is climb so expensive? Mm -hmm. Well, just one material right here adds hours and hours of production time. And of course that pushes the, so there's a trade off for quality mm -hmm. and function. Mm -hmm. and, and for this case, it's the cost of the material and the cost to build the garment with that material, right? Mm -hmm. So he's got another, this is a brand new material. We've only been using this for two or three years. Um, in fact, we just came out with a product. <laughs> I know where this is going. This year. <laughs> Sometimes. So yeah, th this is one of those situations where like Dustin was saying, we, we don't just accept a run of the mill fabric yep. or an off the shelf fabric. Right. But we might take an off the shelf fabric and say, how can we make it better? Mm -hmm. So this is an example where we take a nylon face fabric. This mm -hmm. is actually a Gore, has a Gore-Tex membrane in it. Yep. But how can we make it better? So the way we made this better is we took a Vectron yarn. Vectron is like you think Kevlar, Dyneema, uh, Spectra, 
Vectron is like that hyper performance yarn that is just super, super strong. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, they're using Vectron in like uh, NASA was using it in parachutes on the, the, the modules coming back through the atmosphere. It's super light, super Holy strong. Smokes. Um, and what we were able to do with this fabric on the motorcycle side of things is we made the industry's first AAA rated motorcycle garment out of a textile. Forever, so, leather so was the only other way to get a AAA rated motorcycle garment. We did it with a textile because of this Vectron infused wow. fabric. And, and what do you mean by AAA rated? What's that? So when we sell any motorcycle garments into Europe, there has to be a CE level of rating. Okay. So it's kind of like in the US, like you can't build a car unless it passes like certain safety standards, right? Choppy, yeah. So over there, motorcycle gear has to pass a safety standard as well, or you really? can't sell it. Exactly. So there's different levels of that safety standard. Well, AAA is the highest. Nice. Like that's, the, I mean, road race gear is like, for the most part, been about the only thing that'll pass it. Yeah. Leathers, right? And yeah. so now, we are the you first company to make a textile that will yeah, actually crack pass the, the highest so, level. So feel this, to, to make a garment out of that That's light. So I was going to say as light as that is. That's versus a, a heavy leather, like you think the MotoGP guys and they got these big mm -hmm. leather suits and that's a triple A rated garment. Wow. Well, so is our new Badlands A3 motorcycle garment. And so okay, so you look like a tough guy. Uh, <laughs> so you can tear that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty strong. And he cut it. He cut it for you too. Yeah. To give you some. So let me, let me. Wow. For a second there, I thought I was gonna budge, and I was like, should I really do this on camera? And then Don't I get a hernia. Then I grabbed a hold of it. Wow. Anyway, I'm, I'm not prepared, but uh, right, if you, <laughs> any other any other. Non Vectron infused. We don't want to make you feel bad, so we're not going to go. Yeah, that's easy okay. One. We don't. We don't need any harder than that. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So, with you guys making these in house, how how much like how I guess how many times did not necessarily failures, but how many times did it take like how many different Trial recipes is it? Yeah. Well, you this, know, because you probably out. just don't get it on first <laughs> first whack, I'd imagine. I don't know, or no, maybe I don't know. You guys are pretty good. You <laughs> might. Yeah, that, I'm curious. Well, this, this took me about two years to develop. Okay. Yeah. With Gore. Okay. to make a Gore-Tex version of this. Yeah. So not only is it a Vectron infused fabric, it also has the Gore-Tex membrane inside. So when so you this have is a waterproof, breathable, Vectron infused, you can't tear it like a yeah. AAA rated garment. It kind of checks all the boxes, right? Like yeah. If you're talking a performance guy, I want to stay dry, but I also need to be breathable, but I also need to be tough, oh, but yep. I also need to be light. Yeah. Like usually there's a trade-off. Yeah. You know, in years past, yeah. And it, and it kind of goes our motto a little bit like lighter, faster, stronger. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so we develop a fabric. Well, by the time we're done developing this, he's already on to the next. Sure, he's sure. got something, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, all right, that was a really cool accomplishment. What's next? Yeah. Yeah. And so Keep pushing. years ago, it was 840. You know, we spent, what was it? Three seven years. Three years. Well, three years just to develop the fabric and then a couple more years to make it. To get it built, it. right. And yeah. It's, so every time we, we check a box, you know, it's like, okay, this one was really lightweight. Maybe there's a trade-off. Can we make one that's equally lightweight and stronger, mm -hmm. right? And so we just keep kind of like trying to outdo ourselves. And, you know, that's where Evan and his team are so critical because these guys have the relationships with the mills. They have the relationships yeah. with the factories, the people that test. There's some pretty high-end equipment that we used to test um, you know, if you can rip it, if you can tear it, if you can wear through it, like there's some machines that they sit there and rub on it mm -hmm. to try to wear through. And okay. so yeah. there's a lot of things that kind of happen in the background that the general public doesn't see that we have to go through to get a product built. So we could be five or six or seven years into something sure. before it actually hits the market. Wow. Sure. That's yeah, a lot that's, of money. That's yeah, what yeah. I was oh, curious. That's there's, a lot yeah. of money, that's a, right? Yeah. So is, is this the material that was in those pieces that you guys just released, the zero to 300? This yep, this was stuff. the Lock Saw 5. Yeah. This is the yeah. Vectron, yep. Yeah. And, and we, there's a couple of reasons we did it that way. For one, it's always fun to have a unique piece, right? Sure. People want oh, to be man. unique. Um, <laughs> but more importantly, when we're dealing with a fabric like this, if it's something that's very specific, we, can't we don't necessarily have a ton of it. Right. And so if we're bringing something into a new market the first year, it might, you know, we might be limited on how much we can build. Right. And so the locks off five was kind of that, that piece, like mm -hmm. we couldn't do a ton of them. 
we knew there was an opportunity to be unique. We knew the price was going to be higher because of yeah. what we were building it out yeah. of. Right. And so it was a fun project to, mm -hmm. you know, kind of do a Black Friday release with. Thank you. Did yeah. it turn out well? Yeah. yeah. They lasted about a day. Nice. They pretty much <laughs> sold. Nice. I think we have four left. <laughs> that's nice. all. Yeah, nice. yeah. That's cool. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, that's an example of the material center. Um, one thing I didn't talk a lot about, and we're going to talk more about this when we go downstairs into the warranty repair room. Mm -hmm. One of our premier partners is Gore-Tex. Yes. Um, we've kind of built a lot of our company on that partnership because they're very picky on, on quality. They have um, a, a lot of resources for testing, mm -hmm. especially waterproof testing. They've got a facility in, it's not in, ba in uh, Baltimore. In Maryland, yeah. Mar yeah, so they've got a whole bunch of facilities and I got to go tour it a couple of years ago, but these they've got these testing rooms. Whole, they're crazy advanced. They've mm -hmm. got rain. They can rain, they can blow, they can do any kind of condition you can recreate, you know, sideways rain, like, mm -hmm. and so they can test the zippers to make sure they're waterproof and all of the features, and then they give it a certification, right? So in order sure. for us to have a, a Gore certification, we have to pass their tests. So we build a new product, we send it to them, pass or fail, fix this, you know, whatever, and then eventually when we do that, it goes to production. Well, the cool thing about that is they actually stand behind it. Okay. So as a, as a partner, Gore-Tex actually honors the warranty. Once we pass their certification, mm -hmm. now they also warranty the product. So let's we'll say we have a product and it leaks in the butt. Mm -hmm. Well, if we test it, sure enough, it leaks. Actually, Gore-Tex helps pay for that because it's their license and their right. technology. So they're That's a really good partner. Sure. Um, it's ex you know The material's expensive, um, and to have that license is expensive. But once we do have that relationship and we develop things together, it pays off mm. big time. Cool. Understand. So, did I miss anything? Yeah, you nailed it. What's you should, been? You should work in materials. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's a good teacher. He's taught me a lot. Yeah. What has been your favorite favorite part about working in materials for Klein? I'm just seeing this this stuff like in the market Develop. and seeing how successful it is, and being the first to make a triple A rated garment. And then yeah. yeah, let's plug that same same material into a snow, you know, a lock style like. Hey, we're changing the it's game. Innovation. Right? This kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Innovation cool for sure. And one thing that I think is really important, and Evan won't tell you this because he's humble, but mm -hmm. El, he's a pretty accomplished writer. Mm -hmm. So he's written and completed Erzberg. Okay. Um, so he's competed at the top levels on the motorcycle side, on a sled and a snow bike. He's extremely accomplished. We've been riding together for, I don't know, what, 15, 18 years probably. Yeah. Oh, so we've got a awesome. guy up here who does it. Yeah, yeah. And he understands what the need is. Sure. And so we... There's a term we use called fit for use. Mm -hmm. So however it's intended to be used, then the designs all have to, you know, the design principles have to be focused on that use, sure. yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And so when you got somebody who does it and understands it and knows what the need is, it makes it that much easier to get, you know, to develop in that yeah. for the Absolutely. need. I think that's definitely one thing that sets us apart is like Dustin is he's just as accomplished you know on the snow side like anyway he we have guys that really ride and ride hard and yeah. and we beat the crap out of this stuff and we get to see where we need to reinforce it and yeah we get to see why we need to add the Vectron I mean that's uh you could skip that process of trying to relate with everybody else yeah. and you just go straight for it yourself well and for me and, and really kind of goes back to when I started working here like I, I'm going to ride regardless. Right. I want to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. And so we're out riding and we're like, hey, dude, what if we, what if we tried this? Or what if, we, you know, I want to improve my experience while I'm on the snow or sure. I'm on my dirt bike or my road bike or whatever. So part of what drives us and what keeps us going is I'm doing it for me too. Yeah. Like I want yeah. to be more comfortable. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, we start talking and bouncing ideas off of each other, and pretty soon we're putting together prototypes or whatever. I was saying, and you guys got a little bit of the power in your hand to make it right, comfortable. Right, you're like, <laughs> yeah, well, that worked really well, or that was a failure, it didn't work yeah. at all. Yeah. I mean, we try some pretty weird stuff sometimes, but it turns into stuff that eventually is high end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll say it turns into the top of the line stuff. Anyways, thanks for. Yeah kind of giving us a little walk. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I so appreciate you jumping in. We're yeah. gonna, I don't know if we can pop our head into r and I'm going to walk up here and see, but we might be able to get a quick shot. We'll, okay. we'll check it out. Okay. So this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one went fast. <laughs> What's that one supposed to be? Well, 
Who's this? Is that know, FXR? Is or should we not? Oh, I'm no, yeah, just we kidding. Won't, we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm diff kidding. Difference? Yeah, oh, yeah, I couldn't That's even. That's wild. Yeah. That one didn't take any effort. That one, uh, you're not getting through that stuff. Yeah. At least not me. So we, I mean, it's, I, I, I ha I'm really hard on the, the legs of my pants because <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm clumsy and I fall off the running board. Yeah, you know, and running they are sharp. Are like, yeah, they're yes. like Razor. cheese grater. Right? Exactly. So I have a, you know, I'll, I'll tear up a one piece. I don't know, once or twice a year, right? Mm -hmm. So last year I got to start wearing the prototype lock saw mm. and I can fall off and it'll nick it, but that's it. It's just a nick. Won't go through. It doesn't keep, you know, it, like it doesn't finish the tear. Like yep. some, a lot of the times I'd be able to, once I started it, you know, I'd end up like with a oh, gash like yeah. that. Yeah. That you just get a nick and that's it. It can't, it can't keep going, which is pretty cool. That's, that's so, pretty good that's stuff. So awesome to be able to have the confidence within your gear while you're out riding knowing that. And for me, like, especially from like a price standpoint, um, that justifies regardless of the cost. I mean, to have something like that versus being able to tear like that. And obviously, you know, you kind of mentioned it, if people want to say, oh, I'm so expensive, da -da -da, that's a, a thing, right? Um, but for me, like, and especially seeing that, that's, I mean, that eradicates any doubt of, I don't care what it costs kind of thing. You know what I mean? Because like when you're out there, you want that stuff to, to work properly. and and that's that's really cool to see that yeah and from a business standpoint we're like you know we're like anybody else i mean you got to have a margin the dealers got to make their their part right but our margins are actually just the same as everybody else in the industry they're all higher mm -hmm. the cost is higher because the it's ingredients. the ingredients are more expensive mm -hmm. the material to get you know the materials the the production time like it, it's a result of of the materials and, right. and, and the people that are the time it takes to develop but yeah so just seeing that, that I'm like, man, more. I think more. If more riders could see like what just what I just did right there, that yeah. uh, I think yeah. their well, their to, switch would try to tell them. it would yep. flip a lot. <laughs> you know That's what why I mean? we're here. Well, tell just doing just doing that. I mean, that sure uh, that that put my mind on oh, yeah, the climb very that. heavily. Yeah. I was like, holy smokes, that yeah. that was very tough. We'll do yeah. some more demonstrations. That was very here tough. A later. Yeah. <laughs> so it's um, impressive. Yeah. Impressive. Now, this is just one of the many, like oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot you probably can't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do yeah. some more demonstrations here in a bit. I'll show you guys, like, I'll teach you a little bit about, like, how laminates work in Gore-Tex and why it's important, mm -hmm. why we use Heck it. Yeah. Um, we call them the magic show, but the magic uh, show. there's science behind it. So mm -hmm. we'll have some more fun doing that. For sure, yeah. for sure. Cool.